unfortunately, Steve, we're not dealing with weather like that here, but we did have a lot of rain uh, over us over the weekend, and you keep talking about more rain in the forecast yeah. for this week, right? Yeah, it looks like it's going to be an unsettled week here, Kelsey, where we have opportunities for rain here uh, for several of the days in the forecast. It's going to be a tough pattern here probably for the next 14 days or so where we're a little bit wetter than average. A live look outside, as you can see, after a dreary weekend here, today was a little bit more comfortable than yesterday. Yesterday was down right chilly in the low to mid 50s. Just remind you, a couple days ago we were in the 90s. So we're going to get back to being more warm. The problem is it comes at the price of some showers and storms. So some foggy spots on your Monday morning commute. Of course, Tim Williams will be here with you starting at 4:30 tomorrow morning to walk you through that. Muggy evening storms likely on Monday. That means a lot of the daytime hours on your Monday. Probably not a lot happening here. Some more showers possible, especially early on Tuesday and then throughout the day on Thursday. I think Thursday could be the wettest day of the week in terms of hours of rainfall. And Wednesday looks like the driest day of the week with sunshine and temperatures into the 80s. We made it to 67 here this afternoon. Uh, about three quarters of an inch of rain in Baltimore at the airport at BWI Thurgood Marshall. Other spots picking up a little bit less in the way of rain. About a quarter inch in Westminster, Frederick almost a quarter an inch, third of an inch in Annapolis, and here on TV Hill we got about eight tenths of an inch of rain. So, how much more rain do we have in the forecast? Well, this is a little bit tricky, so I'm going to break it down for you. Monday, it looks like during the daytime hours you could pop a shower, but most of us will be dry during the day. It'll be the evening hours we get some showers and storms. Tuesday, the greatest amount of activity would be early in the morning and then a drying process throughout the day. Wednesday looks like the driest day, maybe a late day or evening thunderstorm. Thursday, the busiest weather day with showers and storms, and then another chance of some showers here on Friday. Looks like as of now, we'll at least squeeze in one dry day next weekend. Coastal flood advisories in effect for Anne Arundel County through 9 a.m. tomorrow morning for the morning high tide. Shouldn't be as bad as what we dealt with this morning, but there still could be some minor coastal flooding in those sections. One thing the rain is doing, and it's good for all the allergy sufferers, including myself, is bringing down the pollen just a little bit. Tree pollen down the medium. Uh, mold count is medium. That may go up, and the grass pollen will go up as well uh, once we get back into a drier weather pattern. Radar pretty quiet here on this Sunday evening. What we're looking for here in terms of showers and storms, well, it's a really messy setup. There's no real large or defined storm coming at us, but these little ripples of energy. So we'll be tracking those. And the first ripple of energy uh, won't come in until tomorrow evening. So we start off the morning with some fog here tomorrow morning. Uh, it could be locally dense. Give yourself extra time. Low beams on the headlights. And then as you can see, a dry period tomorrow morning through tomorrow afternoon with the chance of showers building in for the second half of the day. High temperatures tomorrow will be in the upper 70s. Warmest west of the Beltway, 76 Perry Hall, 76 Parkton, 79 Owings Mills. Eastern Shore, mid to upper 70s. As you can see, we're dry for most of the day with those rain chances picking up here during the afternoon hours. Muggy it's going to be around here all week long. This is a tough week for humidity. So showers and storms firing up here tomorrow evening. The window is generally between 8 uh, p.m. and 11 p.m. That's when we have the greatest chance of showers and storms. Tuesday morning showers tapering off during the afternoon hours. Wednesday, 85 degrees. Some storms possible at night. Thursday could be a busy weather day. We'll keep an eye on that for you. Final round of showers on Friday. We're drying out a bit on Saturday. And next Sunday, yeah, we have another chance of showers. We'll be right back.